Hey, what's going on guys? It is your boy Anok from Anok Gaming, and we are playing D&D with the boys, Aiden and Vincent. I did not mute them, so they can say hello if they so choose. Um, so, uh, yeah, we're just gonna dive right into, uh, Rolled Beans. Uh, the last episode, uh, they, uh, decided to start embarking on their journey from heading from Flagon to Burton. Um... And they decide, and on their journey, they ran. Uh, they ran into a stagecoach, uh, heading towards them. They camped for the night. Uh, Aiden had a dream with his uh, the deity he uh, follows for being a warlock, um, who gave him a very stern warning about uh, the enchantress um, being a goddess. And uh, also, they ran into a naked little boy, and that's where we left off. Uh, was them walking away from the naked little boy. Um, what's up? Uh, okay, uh, goodbye, Portal Master. Anywho, um, so yeah, let's get right into some, uh, roll beans. Alright, boys, you're on the path again. Who's leading? I think Aiden should be. Find a freaking lead. Okay, I'm leading. I'm rolling investigation and... Uh, it's perception. It's intelligence. Oh, perception? Or, no, yeah, intelligence, sorry. Yeah, intelligence. I rolled an 8 for perception. And... 10. Okay. I rolled roll the same thing twice. Alright, cool. You got a 10? Alright, well, it's not too hard to uh, stay on the path. Um, it's a pretty easy thing to do, especially with a map. Um... Um, on the way, uh, as you continue going, the road is actually pretty busy between the two cities uh, right now. Um, there's quite a few people, and, uh, every single person you walk past is kind of wary of you guys, because you are a very intimidating group of individuals. One warlock and one paladin make a group. I think it's more the fact that I'm a demon, and, and you're a giant dinosaur monster. <laughs> Um, More so than the fact that I'm a warlock and you're a paladin. So... Kind of paladin would make them feel much better. Yeah, uh, so... Well, I'm a paladin of So, anywho, as you guys continue on the path, uh, it, the road keeps getting busier and busier, but you notice that, like, people kind of form a little, like, crescent around you guys as you guys continue walking. Um, they're... There are all sorts of um, people on the road. There are children, the elderly, um, people of all shapes and sizes and genders and sexualities, all the la la la. Um, and uh, you didn't expect this much traffic on a road to just a city. Just like heading on the way to the city. Yeah. Um... And uh, it continues until until uh, about eight o'clock that night uh, when the sun starts to set. Um, are you guys setting up camp or are you continuing? Yeah, we'll set up camp. Okay. Uh, so you set up camp. Uh, who's taking the uh, first watch? Me. Okay. All right, Vinny, uh, uh, roll perception as Aiden falls asleep and you are staying awake into the night. Alrighty, um, as the night goes on, there aren't uh, the sounds of crickets like there were last time. Um, it's actually quite quiet tonight. Um, that may be the fact that it's a little bit chiller, maybe something else. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty quiet night. Uh, no bugs, really. Um, the the only thing that catches you off guard every once in a while is the sound of a frog. Um, uh, and what sounds like... Um, Frogs fighting every once in a while, but other than that, nothing. It's mating season for sure for frogs. 
It is early spring, so it is mating season for a lot of different things. Um, so, yeah. Um, you as, as it does start to get darker, you see um, dragonflies um, blinking. You don't hear any, which is odd, but you do see them blink and go darker. And dragonflies? What did I say? I think you said dragonfly. I might just be stupid. No. Nah. Y'all see some lightning bugs. I should have. Don't talk to me. If y'all like, I can call them lightning bugs. Anyway, y'all see the fireflies. And, uh, like they do in mating season. Um, and that's about it. Um, now it's around t about time for the second shift. Uh, are you going to be waking Aiden up? Or is, uh, you going to let him sleep? I'll wake Aiden up. Okay. All right, Aiden, as Vinny falls asleep, uh, roll perception. Ooh, 16. Alrighty, so um, as the night goes on, um, it's getting late, or really late, so now the fireflies have kind of stopped. The sound of frogs is kind of lowered down a bit, and it is dead silent. And... Um, you're just kind of looking up at the stars and enjoying being where you are for the first time in a little while. Um, you're kind of just in the moment. And um, it starts, uh, there starts being some shooting stars going across the night sky. Um, and uh, it's quite a beautiful sight to behold. Um... And, uh, yeah, nothing else really happens other than the, uh, couple of shooting stars that you see. As the night rolls on, your the few hours that you were staying up and comes to an end. Are you still staying up? Are you waking up Vinny? Or? Yeah, I'm taking the other one, too. Okay. Uh, roll perception again. This music we're vibing to fits the stars. Thirteen. Alrighty, so uh, you got a thirteen. Um, as the night goes on, the sh the stars are still shooting, and you're looking up and you see some constellations, and um, you see the constellation for um, uh, for the goddess of magic, uh, Mestra. Um, and, uh, she, it, it's a be very beautiful constellation. Um, she's, it looks like she's weaving together the, the weave, um, which is the magical source of, or one of the magical sources of the, of the land. And, uh, she's weaving it together and, um, and as she is weaving it together, you start to notice that it's actually her constellation moving and, um, then you, and then she looks down at you and gives you a wink and continues weaving the, the weave, the magical web that encompasses, uh, Zandra. But other than, but other than that, the night rolls on. Uh, and the night rolls on and as morning rolls around... Vinny, you wake up to the sound of birds chirping and people walking. And once again, the bustle, or the hustle and bustle, hustle and, you know, English, um, it starts to pick up again. And who is, who is leading the... Oh my! Who is leading the uh, the journey today? Me. Alrighty. Just joking. I'll let Aiden do it again. All right, Aiden, roll intelligence. Investigation. No intelligence. Wait. Intelligence. You were rolling investigation before. No, I've been having people roll intelligence. You had us roll investigation yesterday, and when we started, investigation is an intelligence check. Well, yeah, but 
you have a map, so you don't really need to investigate anything. You're not like you're not like trying to learn. Nah, it's just a intelligence check. Or you can do perception. That's up to you, either intelligence or perception. I have a negative to intelligence. 16. 16? Alrighty. So, um... Well, I know, but I have a positive to my investigation. As you, um... As you guys continue walking, um... More and more people start coming. Um... Give me, like, two seconds. One, two. Two seconds. Yeah. Yep! Sorry, my mom's leaving. Anywho, uh, more and more people start coming, and the path is now pretty busy. Um, and, uh, yeah. But this is, uh, people are now come going both ways. And you guys are kind of just walking in the middle of the road, and they're kind of just forming a weird bubble around you guys. Uh, just trying to avoid your attention whatever we are <laughs> yeah yeah um and at around midday um it all starts to kind of slow down uh less traffic um it is incredibly warm uh if we were uh if we were going off a fahrenheit basis it's probably around 85 to 95 it's somewhere in there so it's pretty warm uh, Vinny, uh, roll, roll perception. Me? Roll perception? Yes, you. Thirteen. Oh. Alright, so, uh, as you're walking, uh, you hear a little, uh, a little achoo from the inside of your, uh, your shell. Inside of my shell. Yeah. The child climbed in your shell, retard. What in the hell? Anyway, you hear a little a chew from the inside of your uh, your shell there. I'm gonna keep him there and eat him later. So, 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 are you just like for like pretending to forget or like pretending? Yes. Okay, you didn't hear that. All right, cool. Um. <laughs> all right, uh, you. Uh, you can, con you, y'all continue walking, and, um, right you're infuriated. Yes. Um, as you guys are walking, there's a cute little lake, um, off to the side of you, uh, in the river that runs through the path, and you guys, uh, cross over a bridge. You see a little family of ducks going down the stream, uh, their little river there, and, uh, it's all cute and adorable, and uh, you see the fish and the trees. Um, but one thing that catches your eye is a herd of uh, water buffalo off to uh, off by the river, uh, drinking their uh, oh, their water. The what? Can I throw the kid into the river? Uh, you would have to get inside of your shell. And grab him. That wouldn't be a problem. I, I feel like he does that all the time. Yeah. Uh, he did that with the gnome. Yeah, I mean, yeah. The Terrasborn shells aren't like turtle shells. Um, so, yeah, you can easily get in there and kind of move around. Um, nice. And find him. Uh, he is a little dude, so he can kind of scurry around in there. Uh, so, so, so what do you just do? Just stop randomly in the, on the middle of the bridge and just, like, yeet into your shell? Yep. Alrighty. Uh, roll, roll strength to try to grapple the kid. Strength. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, wow, actually. That's an 11. Alrighty, um... You miss the kid, and he darts out of your shell. I'll throw my javelin at him. 
Okay, so you take an, uh, I guess, uh, roll, um, roll initiative, I guess. Fourteen. Fourteen? Alrighty. Um, so, uh, the kid bolts out of your shell and, uh, is starting to, uh, run away, uh, and kind of scream a bit to try to get people's attention, or the couple of people that are walking's attention as he runs away, and, uh, and on your turn, you spend your turn getting out of your, out of your shell and standing up. Uh, and on the kid's turn, he continues to run away. Aiden, are you going to do anything, or are you just going to let the kid bolt? Aiden, you're, you're, you're taken aback by this, because you didn't hear the sneeze. Uh, yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm just gonna let it, let it go. Alright, um, the kid begins... Hop into a corner and do some disguise self real quick, actually. <laughs> Uh, the kid, alright, so... Yeah, is there like an alley nearby? Here, yeah, you can roll initiative too, even though you're not in the fight, so we know when this is happening. Okay, no, actually, uh, 11, or 10. 10? Okay, uh, so after the kid kind of bolts, and Vinny gets up, uh, you, you get up, and you kind of duck behind, or you kind of just jump underneath the bridge and kind of hang there, and cast Disguise Self. Sweet. Yeah, I'm just gonna make myself look like a regular, really tall human man. A really uh, tall just, human. You know, regular, average clothes. Nothing. My sword's gone in the, the space zone. Yeah, the aether or whatever it is. I'm just gonna keep walking down the street. Okay. Happening. Or no, I'm gonna look on. Like what? What? What the heck? Yeah. Like everybody else. Alright, uh... Alright. Cool. Um... <laughs> Alright, Vinny. Uh, the kid is running. Very quickly. Uh, what are you doing? I'm gonna take my rope and lasso him. Um... Uh... Roll... To hit... Well, I'm assuming, because I've never had to deal with a lasso before in D&D, &D, uh, so I'm assuming it would be kind of like a grapple attack. So you would roll to hit, and then you would roll to see if you grapple him. Alright. Yeah, I would, yeah. Roll a 1D. It would be a dexterity. Uh, dexterity to, like, I got hit. a 19 to hit. Alrighty. Uh, Do you have any negatives to your dexterity? Nope. So, so you hit him. Uh, roll dex to see if you can uh, capture him. Or I guess, would it be dex or strength, do you think? Um, well, it would be dex to get on, and then strength to maintain a grapple. Yeah, okay. Be, uh, so, 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 so roll, yeah, so roll a strength um, to uh, try to grapple him. So... It's currently over him. Now you need to roll strength to try to grapple him. 16. Alrighty, you do not grapple him. Uh, it is around him, uh, but on his... He kind of just, like, takes it off as he's running. And uh, he's still running away. I'll let him run. Alrighty. Uh, he runs into the woods and out of sight. Um, all right, so what do you want to do now? Keep on going. Keep on going? All righty. So, uh... cracking the kid on the floor. Well, no, 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 the kid, the kid, uh, got out. Oh. Despite the 16 check. Yeah, he, yeah, he rolled a 18 decks to get out of it, so, or to... Not this get grappled. A little small naked child. So. Yeah. Um. So yeah, the kid is uh, gone. Uh, you guys continue on the path. Good riddance. Um. 
spicy dick titty again I'm eating it. Um, one of the um, so on the road there is there are a couple of noblemen, um, or like uh, guardsmen, and one of them approaches uh Vincent, um. Uh, hello, sir. Uh, is that your child? No, but he hid in my shell after I found him a few days ago in the woods. Ah. And I do not appreciate that. That is illegal. Mmm, he hid in your shell. passing on private property. Mmm, that sounds very believable. No. Can I roll intimidation? Uh, sure. Or at the very least, persuasion. Yeah, persuasion would be the correct one to roll, but but yeah, because you're trying to persuade him to believe the truth. Um, that was a seven. What is wrong? Yeah, no, he doesn't believe you at all. Um. Now can I roll intimidation? Uh, and uh, you're kind of just talking to him, and he kind of gives a little wave over to some of the other guards that are walking with him. And uh, you now have three guards checking you out and getting ready for uh for maybe a fight or something. Oh, you, you, they you can now intimidate if you choose to. <laughs> um, I'm gonna walk up in my old man form. Um, okay, um. What'd you roll? <laughs> Six! Alright, so, um. One of them kind of backs off a little bit, but not entirely. And the guard, uh, the guard who was originally talking says, I'm gonna need you to come with us for some, um, questioning. What? I say, I ain't going with you anywhere. You're not going with us. That is correct. So, you're resisting the orders from guards. I do not follow your orders. Perfect. I have my own path like my sheep, and you are not part of it. The hard way, then. And he draws his sword, and the two behind him also, uh, one of them draws a crossbow, and one of them draws their sword. Roll initiative. Yes. Uh, no, I'm gonna stay in the crowd and pretend to be an old man. <laughs> There's nothing I can do anymore. There was something I could have done, and now I can't. What could you have done? I'm Said something before he pissed them off more? Helped convince, helped him convince them that it, what he was saying was true. I mean, you can always try to calm down the situation. There's, there's nothing I can do. He's already, even if they somehow believe me, it n now becomes a thing where. Oof, Vinny. Yeah. There's not much. Vinny rolled a two. All right, Vinny. Uh, one of the uh. <laughs> so, uh, Vinny. One of them takes a swing at you with his uh his his long sword. Oh yeah. Yeah. What's your armor class? Perfect. Did he get through? Uh, he rolled an 18, and he has a plus two, so, uh... Oh, fuck. <laughs> of course he rolled an 18. He never ever rolled an 18. Vinny, 
Uh, take eight, uh, eight damage. Eight fucking damage. And then, uh, one of the other guards will step up and roll to attack as well. Uh, he misses, though. He kind of goes long and, like, scrapes the dirt, sending up a cloud of, uh, of dust. Um... And the one from the back will take a shot at you with their crossbow. Uh, he does shoot at disadvantage because he's very well within range. Uh, lucky for you, it glances off your shell, uh, not affecting you. Just barely missing. Just barely missing your neck. Um, so, uh, now it is your turn. When are you I take out my great sword and is the guy... Uh huh. He's right in front of you. Okay, so I'll attack him. My great sword. Okay. Roll the hit. Uh, I rolled a ten to hit. Uh, you miss. Damn. Uh, so as your great sword comes down, you miss and hit the dirt, and it shoots up another thing of uh, of, of dust. <laughs> Aiden, what are you doing, man? I, I'm going to have you roll initiative just so we know what you're doing and when you're doing it. Um, let's see what stealth casts I can make. You want to try to be stealthy about everything? Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm like, pop him from the crowd that's watching, you know? What? What? Even, yeah. Man, yeah. And yeah. Um. What? What kind of? Uh. Or what was your initiative? My initiative was twelve. Twelve. Okay. So you'll go after the guards. Okay. So um. Vinny, the guards will now attack you. Would have done sixteen damage to. Only one of them hits you again, and it's the one with the great sword that's been, that hit you last time. <laughs> Take seven damage. <laughs> seven damage. So glad I have so much health. Uh, Alright, Aiden, it is now your turn. Uh, as the guard shouts, You will stand down and come with us. I'm gonna... Fuck you, bitch. Shut up. <laughs> Stop talking. Uh, the crowd around you guys is massive now. Uh, you got a good like thirty people watching you. Oh, oh that that makes it much easier for me to sell. Um. Yeah. That's how um, that's how it works. <laughs> Let's see here. What spells do I have? I don't know what spells do you have. Mm. Trying to see. I know I have smite. You do have smite as a paladin. You do have smite, which is the most basic paladin spell in the entire world. It's like the it's like the warlock's uh, uh, eldritch blast. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna. Eldritch Blast this mofo a little bit, you know? Eldritch Blast is a lot harder to stealth, as it is a dark orb blasting from a blade. That doesn't have to be from a blade. Blasting from somewhere uh, in a singular direction. Uh, so, uh, are you sure about that one? It's fast, though. Roll stealth. Hold on. Let's let's do chill touch. Chill touch is a little stealthier. All uh, right, but you also have to touch him. No, you don't. Oh wait, no. One hundred and twenty feet. Okay. Um, that is a lot stealthier. Um, roll it's stealth. A little hand that comes out of the ground and just goes whack. So it's just gonna like you know grab his ankle. Okay, roll stealth. His ankle. Um. Do I have advantage because of the 30 people crowd that I'm in and being disguised as an old man? Uh, yes, you do have advantage. Okay. I rolled a 12. Okay. To be fair, the DC should not be that high, as they are not looking. Uh... I would be standing opposite of... I, 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 I... Um, I know, I'm taking into things that, um... Are accounted. It is not. 
a DC type thing. It is a perception against stealth. It, that one would be passive perception. Passive. Yeah, passive perception against stealth. And okay. um, But the crowd is also a factor, and they are paying attention to everything and everyone that is happening. So uh, they not, are a... Dir I am the DM. That is how they work. Vinny, stop making that noise. That is not how crowds work. Crowds are focused on what's in the middle of all of them. Okay. Uh, I am the DM, so... I say what goes. 20 to hit. Okay. So, as you cast the icy, uh, the chill touch, um, a little cool breeze shoots from your fingertips. And uh, which guard are you trying to hit? The one that's been hitting Vinny. All right, the one right in front of him? All right. Yeah. I forget how chill touch works exactly. Um, it's just a little ghost skeleton... Hand. Well, is it... it grab somebody. Okay, so does it freeze them in place would, then? It would come out of the ground, grab their foot, yeah. and then... Um, hold on, I'm trying is, to look. Is on, a hit, the hit the takes, on a hit, the target takes 1d8 necrotic damage, and it can't regain hit points until the start of your next turn. Until then, the hand clings to the target. And they can't move. Okay, so it's a one-turn camp. Can not anything about them not moving, but I would assume so. Yeah, he he's not gonna move anyway. Uh, he's only has the duration of one round. So okay. Um, all right. So roll the uh, the damage. And that would be a five. All right. So the guard takes uh, five damage. Um, Wait, wouldn't I add a spell thing? A spell modifier. Yeah. Spell attack modifier. So it was ten. Ten damage. Okay. Uh, he takes 10 damage, and he is, uh, looking chilly. Um, Vinny, it is now, uh, Aiden, a few, uh, people in the crowd, uh, look your way. Uh, but they don't know exactly who it is, but they can tell it, the spellcaster is within the area that you are in. Um, Vinny, it is now your turn. All right, roll the hit. Well, I'm gonna smite him. Yeah. I hit him with my great sword. All right, roll the hit. Attack with my great sword. Is it twelve to hit? All right. Uh, as you bring the sword down, it glances off of his armor. And, uh, smite. no, you, you don't hit. It misses. It just glances off of his armor. These guys don't have a very high DC. It's, like, not high, but... Don't they just have, they don't even have, like, plate armor. It's regular, like, chain mail and crap, basically. Their, their AC is, like, pretty minimal. Uh, you just happen to be horrible at this. Anyway, it is now their turn, and they're each going to take their shots at you. Finally! So, two of them, or all three of them hit you. And that's a finally! Alright, take 13 damage. What's your health looking like? Hit points. <sighs> All right. <laughs> Be a lot easier if you could hit your shots. Um, I know. All right, Aiden. It is now your turn. <laughs> uh, you now notice uh quite a few eyes looking in your direction for the spellcaster. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna like act like I'm trying to like look and like kind of like stand on my tiptoes and try to move a little more to the left through the crowd. All right. Uh, so. Like, 
Yeah. Still looking. Yeah. So, uh, just... You can either roll a deception check, a performance check, or a stealth check. Alright, so deception. Performance or stealth. Performance or stealth. Yeah. I'm just gonna roll, like, for performance, which I got a 21. Alrighty, yeah, you are very convincing. I'm trying to find who shot the spell. I can't, like. Yeah, you're. You're very convincing. Um. Alright, Vinny, it is your turn now. And to think, all of this could have been avoided had Vinny not tried to attack the kid. I tried lassoing the kid. There's a difference. Anywho. I'm just going to use my great sword to hit that guy. Alright, roll the hit. Using my own dice. A nap. <laughs> okay, roll damage. Roll, roll, roll damage. Oh, the 2d6. Yeah, and then you double the uh, the dice damage. The 2d6 plus 5 and double damage. Oh. What'd you get on the 6s? So, an 11 plus 5, that's big number. Wait, wait, no, no, so you got an 11 with the dice, so that becomes 22. Yeah. Um, plus 5, so 27 damage. Uh, you incinerate this guard as you slice through his body. He just bursts into ashes. And his armor is bright red around where your sword just came down. And he basically just got struck by a bolt of lightning that shot through your sword and into him. Uh, you are very, very angry. I always roll legitimate dice because the physics yeah, it makes it less random than a random number generator. Alright, so, it is now the guard's turn. And having watched their buddy just get incinerated by the angry lizard, uh, looking boy... Uh, they will still take shots at you, and only one of them hit. Takes six damage. Actually, seven damage. Sorry. Alrighty, you have ten health left. Uh, anyway, Aiden, it is your turn. I'm so mad right now. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. Aiden, what you doing over there, bud? Hold on. I got Hold eight on. minutes. Problems. Um. So I'm in a different place now, right? There yes. Yes. Uh, I'm gonna chill touch one that's not dead, the closer one. Alrighty. Uh, roll the hit. That one is a 23. All right, that hits. Uh, roll damage. 10 again. Okay, he is looking pretty chilly as the uh, ghostly hand comes out of the ground. And uh, no one seemed to uh, notice that one. Um, all right, Vinny, it is your turn. Does a, um, 23 hit? Yes. How many smites do you get? I don't remember. Um, I'm not gonna use smite. I'm just gonna use my grid sword this time. Alright, roll your damage. Uh, that is a 2d6. Yeah, 2d6. Thirteen damage. Alrighty, he is looking very hurt and beat up. 
uh, it is now their turn. And uh, they both hit. Uh, I'm probably dead. Um, I don't know. Uh, no one rolled a natural 20 this time, so I'm pretty sure you're not dead. This time? Yeah, I've at least had one natural 20 every single go round. Uh, you take, uh, s seven damage. You are at three health. All right, Aiden, it is your turn. Okay, which one is the weakest, is looking the weakest right The now. one that just hit, uh, Vinny with his sword. Okay, I'm gonna chill touch that one again. All right, roll the hit. That one is 19. Okay, uh, I mean, if you want, you can roll stealth, uh, but either way, that hits, and it's gonna kill him. So, he drops dead, uh, very cold and frozen corpse. Um, My stealth was 15. No one noticed. Um, alright, Vinny, it is your turn. Yeah, how much more you do I have? I didn't roll damage. Yeah, no, no, he was dead. All you had to do was three, or two damage. Oh, yeah, I rolled nine. Uh, My spell attack is plus five, so... Alright, Vinny, roll to attack. Uh, it's the 20... 21. 21. Alright, it hits. Yeah, it hits. Uh, roll damage. Okay, roll damage. Alright, so Vinny jumps up and goes to bite this dude because he's the one that was shooting him with the crossbow. So he has to run up at him and, like, chick chomp at him. And he hits and he bites him. And uh, he is now stuck in your maw. Uh, you can roll strength to try to keep him grappled. Or... Um, can I roll strength to crush him in my jaws? Uh, on your turn, you can do another bite attack. Okay, anyway, so, uh, he's going to try to escape, uh, I bet you he doesn't succeed, as long as you can roll above a 10, you're good, um, yeah, an 18, definitely, yeah, alright, Vinny, or er, Aiden, it is your turn, I'm just gonna, so, it's just the one last guy running away, right, uh, not running away, he is in Vin Vinny's mouth, Touch him from his mouth. Yeah. Might as well. Um, I can guarantee you, no one noticed. Okay, I rolled a 15. For attack? Alright. Yeah. Uh, that's what you needed. Um, 13 damage. Alright, the dude is very, very hurt. And Vinny, he is kind of... You, you, you know when you drink really cold water and mm -hmm. it like kind of hurts your teeth a little bit? That's what it's filled like inside your mouth right now. Um, <laughs> uh, Vinny, it is your turn. <laughs> I do the crunch. All right, roll with advantage. I'm pretty sure a 17 hits. Yeah, 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 it hits. Uh, and he's dead. Uh, don't even roll damage. You're good. All righty. And that is where we are going to leave off with a crowd surrounding you, a dead man now in your mouth, and two other dead men laying on the floor. Now... Still a hidden old man! That's really tall. Alrighty. And cut back to full screen, and I'm going to mute you guys. Alrighty, guys, if you enjoyed today's stream or today's YouTube video, please go check out, uh, go check out the merch, drop a like, uh, leave a comment, hit subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're watching on uh, Twitch, we are also ending the stream right now because um, I have to go get ready for work. Thank you guys so much for watching. Go check out uh, for merch. Um, we have Roll Beans merch, which is the D&D podcast that we are doing here. And um, let's see what happens next time. Uh, our young adventurers are now surrounded by three dead guards and a large crowd of people. So... I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.